Boehm steps to the plate, trying to make something happen for himself as a pinch hitter. And unfortunately, it didn't work out for him. Uh, He grounded out to uh, second base. But here's the way it went down last night. Check this out. Number 28, Alex Boehm. Savages, just barbarian Philadelphia Phillies fans, just destroying Alec Boehm. Apparently, that was the way that a lot of the national media, some local media, uh, it went the opposite way. <laughs> uh, it goes to show you how, yes, we can, we can be a funny fan base. Um, you could be not that great a player, but you could work your ass off and we'll love you forever. You know, you could say something to the effect of, I hate this bleeping place and then own it after the game, not shy away from it, and then you walk up to the plate to get a standing ovation. Uh, One of my favorite lines, and I think it's an underrated line from the movie Gladiator, uh, uh, it's it's not, are you not entertained? Uh, It's the mob is fickle, brother. The mob is fickle. And yes, sometimes we can be fickle as a fan base, and probably uh, better to describe it is misunderstood. We're very misunderstood. Somebody came uh, commented on one of the posts we had yesterday saying, oh, I love how you're justifying the way Philadelphia fans act. Justifying? I'm explaining the way it is and the way, quite frankly, it should be. Justifying it makes it seem like there was something evil that you needed to make sense out of. No, 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 no. I'm not justifying anything. I'm explaining the way we are and the way I think all fan bases should be across these great United States. And last night proved it. And I feel like a lot of people were watching Philadelphia last night going, watch how they deal with this. And they're, oh, they already had their shows planned for today. Oh, look look how terrible Philadelphia is. Look what they did to this poor kid. Ah, yeah, no, they they standing ovation. So shut your damn mouth. Uh